And an asteroid the size of two and a half football fields could pose a real threat to the survival of Earth within 20 years. And that's why Russia has decided to take a leading role in preventing a collision scientists fear would devastate the planet. Sarah Firth takes a look. Stepping up to save the world from a threat that if realized has the potential to kill millions. Russia's space agency are holding meetings about the approaching asteroid Apophis, which is due to pass close to the Earth in 2029. The Apophis was discovered in 2004. The probability of the collision uh, with the Earth was very high, about one, uh, 1 to 30. It's very high probability. The collision of uh, such a large body with, uh, with our planet uh, will cause uh, great damage. It turned out later that the probability of collision was lower, but at 300 meters across, it still poses a serious threat. The critical moment's going to come in 2029, when the asteroid will pass so close to the Earth that it will be visible to the naked eye. Now, although there's no threat of a collision then, it won't be until this point that scientists will know whether the 27 million tonne rock has altered its course so as to hit the Earth when it next comes past in 2036. Although NASA has said that the chance of this collision happening is remote, the Russian space agency has said that regardless of Apophis, it makes sense to be prepared. I think that exaggerating things and scaring ourselves would be incorrect. But nonetheless, doing nothing and taking no measures would be wrong, all the more so because the threat can be overcome. Were the asteroid to hit, NASA has estimated that the blast caused by Apophis would be a hundred thousand times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. There are a number of different possibilities for preventing this. However, blowing it up with nuclear weapons blockbuster movie style has been ruled out as weapons of mass destruction are forbidden in space by international treaty. One potential strategy would be to send up a spacecraft to nudge and deflect the rogue asteroid. The Russian Space Agency have said that NASA and the European Space Agency will be invited to take part once the mission is finalized. Whatever methods are employed and whether they're even needed, for now Russia is taking the lead in ensuring Apophis doesn't make Earth its final destination. Sarah Firth, RT.